One of the best updates that Squarespace has rolled out over the past year or so has been the ability to actually change the color of specific text within a section. Before, you used to have to code this in and basically apply the color change to, to either bold or italic or maybe like link in a text. So you would say, if something is bold, then it would be colored red, for instance. Now, Squarespace has completely done away with the need for code and allows users to essentially highlight the text, pick whatever color they want, and completely do away with the need for code. It's such a simple update, but we've been crying out for it for absolutely ages. So I'm going to show you now how to do it and how to make best use on changing the color of specific text. So we want to change the color of our text. First of all, we're going to have to put a text block on our website. So if we go into edit and then we add a new section in, we'll go with something that's text heavy that we ideally need to break up with color. So something like this looks good. Obviously you would tweak this to have your text in, but you can see it's quite a big block of text. Really, we want to be breaking this up so the users don't get sort of eye fatigue thinking, I can't be bothered reading through this whole block of text. So what I'm seeing straight off the bat is short, sweet, and to the point, which this text isn't, but I digress. So we'd highlight the text that we want to change the color of. And then you can see up here, we've got this black spot. This will be whatever color the text is. All we have to do is click on this and you can see that you can change the color of the text based on your color palette, or you can click custom and then you can use the color picker to pick whatever color you want or you can use a hex code so if you have a code that you want to use you would just paste it in for instance f a f a f a and that would give us a really light gray if you know what you want to paste go ahead and paste that in but i'm going to use the color picker to pick some jazzy colors so we'll go with i'll go with this sort of i think that's about a maroon or a burgundy maybe so we'll go with that and then we're going to go down maybe a couple of lines and then go describe in detail. So we want this to be highlighted. Then we want to click color again, go to custom, and then let's go with a yellow. So we go along here and then we'd pick, that's a disgusting yellow. That is like a greeny neon weird yellow. This looks terrible, <laughs> but with your color palette with matching colors, it would look it would look great. Now let's say we want to change the setup of the text a little bit. So we just probably drag this text out. And I quite like this, you got this. So I would separate this and then I would highlight maybe two of these. Then we'd click again, we'd go to custom and then let's go with a jazzy blue. Let's go with this. Then we'd hit save. Then we'd check how it looks and you can see that the text is broken up quite clearly so we can see short, sweet, to the point, describe it in detail, and you've got this. Now, like I say, these colors don't really complement each other, but it gives you an idea of how you can use color to break up text and how you can do it without having to use a single line of code. So that's exactly how you do it. Hopefully you pick some better colors than I did.